Hey everyone, it's Mia, and that means today is Thursday. Um, ignore the tail, it's my cat. Here, say hello, Felix. She hates being held. She likes being in my lap, but she hates being held. And she's not really even supposed to be in the house. Uh, because she's an outdoor cat, but I'm being nice today. So anyway, um, today is um, Alex's question, or this week is Alex's question, and he wants to know um, what are some of the difficulties in being by gender? Uh, for example, on a personal grooming level, <clears throat> excuse me, closet uh, with your clothes, IDs, etc. All right, with me, um, and, and he, he's also done a two-parter. Um, the, the, the next question will be coming up in a later um, week. Uh, so, oh goodness, um, I think the most problems that I've had uh, with being by gender is all of the different, uh, well, it's at the moment. Let me just fix that. There we go. At the moment, it's um, my bank is the most difficult thing. Uh, my bank is uh, Santander, previously known as uh, Abby. Uh, and I went up there, gave them my, my D-pool uh, when I changed my name and courtesy title, and uh, told them, you know, Said, well, obviously I need to change my name because my name's no longer Deborah. It's Mia, uh, and my gender is is other instead of female or male. And um, they won't do it. Uh, they want to. Uh, the woman that I that I spoke with wanted to, but uh, her computer wouldn't let her because the gender um, on the forms is either. Uh, male or female and just two little bubbly things to click you know male female there's there's nothing there for other uh which is annoying um and also titles is a drop down list and it's all uh male female it's gender oriented titles except for the professional ones you know reverend uh pastor doctor but i'm none of those um, this is where having a PhD would come in very handy, but oh well. Um, so, I mean, I, I technically, I, I, I guess, I mean, I'm part of a Discordian religion. I might have to try that, because as a Discordian, um, Discordians believe that everyone is a Pope. So I might be able to get Reverend put as my uh, courtesy title at my bank. I'll have to try that, but it's still... Uh, leaves open the the gender issue uh, because I'm both male and female or other and they can only choose one and it's gender it is it doesn't say sex it says gender um, which is annoying if it said sex then obviously I mean my, my body is, is f female my biological sex is female but I, I it doesn't say that it says gender so that that's that is the the most difficult situation that I find myself in as a bi-gender person. Um, other things, I mean, clothing, I wear mostly, well, I wear all men's clothes or unisex clothes anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Um, I've got cat fur. All of, never wear black when you have a cat with white fur. It's just the. But anyway, um... Other things, I mean, what, what's funny is, because I've got this really short hair, and I, I use, because um, it's at the stage where it, it sticks up everywhere. So what I do is I use um, hair wax. Let me show you what I use. I use two types, um, depending on my mood, I guess. So anyway, depending on my mood, I use two types. I use shock waves. Uh, define and wax it's got a two tier hold or I use um, Garnier Fructo style and all I do is I'll do it right now to show you very simple let's take a little bit 
on the fingers, rub hands together. And this. But the funny thing is about this is when I had long hair, I just brushed and went. Um, in my feet, when I'm feeling feminine, I don't wear much makeup. Um, I mean, when I'm feeling ultra feminine, I wear eyeshadow, maybe a little tiny bit of blusher, but usually not. Usually I just wear eyeshadow. Uh, but as a guy, I'm finding that my um, personal care regime has actually gone a bit higher because I use the gel or the wax. And then... I put this on as well. Um, metallic eyeliner from Boots. And I don't use mascara because it runs. But I do use um, eyelash gel, which works really well. But, yeah, so, I mean, as a, as a guy, when I'm in male mode, I wear makeup. I wear more makeup than I do when I'm in female mode, because usually in female mode, I just go. I don't bother. Um, that, that's, it, it annoys me, but at the same time, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, it's fine. So, yeah. Um, other things, oh goodness, with people, um, some people don't know how to re relate to me. Um, a lot of people still call me Deborah, and I'm hesitant to correct them. Uh, but I, I do tend to correct them just a bit. Uh, or if, if they call me by feminine pronouns, I say, uh, no, actually I prefer, um, masculine or gender neutral pronouns if you don't mind uh i'll, I'll tell them that up front uh, the first time and then if, if they continue then i i kind of uh i, I tend to, to correct them a little bit you know if they say uh mir wants everyone to call her by her new name i say uh him actually but yeah but i mean so far i haven't had a whole lot of problems but then again since i came out um I, i've not been around that many people um i'm, I'm sure it's going to change in the next month or two uh that's pretty much it it's going to be a fairly short video for me this week mm. god i'm sloppy anyway um yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, what Alex and Sam and Bryn have to say. Um, and I really like Sydney's video. Uh, Sydney, you have a knack, and I I trip all over my words in these videos. You have a knack of saying what you want to say and saying it slowly enough. That people can understand you and me i just talk a mile a minute um but oh well that's okay uh it's me so eh, i will see you all next week or tomorrow on my personal channel if you subscribe um other than that enjoy the rest of the videos and i'll see you next thursday